Hi everyone, back with another video and today we're talking about webhooks and comparing them to API polling. So both are ways for an application to receive event updates from another, uh, but they do it in very different ways. So with webhooks, the application that wants the update will provide the source application with an endpoint and they'll say, hey, anytime something happens over there, send us an event update to this endpoint. Uh, whereas with API polling, the application that wants to receive the update, they need to consistently pull the API of the other application to find the event themselves. So a real world analogy that I like to use for this is if you take the classic case of a family on a road trip, and the parents are in the front, kids are in the back seat. And the kids are just constantly asking, hey, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? And the parents are just like, no, no. And then finally, when you get there, you can, you can respond to yes. Whereas with webhooks, it would be more like if your kids are asleep in the back or they're watching a movie on their iPad. And when you finally get to the destination, you can just be like, hey, kids, we're here. Um, so one of the major technical differences between the two is that webhooks are in real time. So because the event is being sent by the source of that event, they know exactly when it happens. And as soon as it happens, they can send the update to you. Whereas with polling, you're always gonna have a delay between the event happening and then you requesting uh, the update and receiving it, finding out about it. And because of this delay, for an API polling solution to reduce that delay and get as close to real time as possible, they're going to need to just send more and more requests more frequently. And because of this, API polling tends to be a lot more resource intensive and webhooks tend to be a lot more resource efficient. So I think Zapier did a, recent, did a uh, study on this and about 1.5% of API polling requests actually find an event update. Uh, so that's something like 65 to 66 times more efficient for webhooks than the average case. Uh, now that makes API polling sound really bad but there is a specific use case for them uh, when, they're, when they can actually be more efficient than webhooks. So in the situation where you don't actually care that much whether you get the update in real time and you get a lot of event updates per polling period. So essentially what happens is if you're able to have multiple event updates sent at the same time, you get to batch them together. So instead of sending one update or one message for every single update, you can batch five, six, seven, ten updates together in one message uh, if you don't care that they act that you actually get them in real time. So that's the advantage of API polling. But if you really need the events in real time, you don't know when they're gonna happen, that's a perfect use case for webhooks. Thanks for watching the video. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any suggestions for topics to cover, leave them down in the comments below. Thanks.